Our e textbook is based on real and learned technology. We have created a template to investigate the design of instructional material in an e textbook environment, which enables us to create didactic system units where the child's design can be manipulated while the student uses the textbook as a studying and learning material. This template enables us to design learning situations based on the following procedure. The student must initially read a curricular text, then click on the question button to answer several learning questions. They should then solve several tasks related to the text for the purpose of learning that specific content. NES 2011. In order to solve the task, students must choose the correct answer and validate. After answering this, the student must read a feedback message. If the answer selected is wrong, he can have a second attempt. Now he has to decide about searching on the text or di directly selecting another choice. Finally, the students receive a corrected feedback message, and sometimes, depending on the experimental design, the students can ask for a final clarification or can go back to the text before going to the next question. All these actions can be experimentally manipulated and controlled, which would change the context in which learning happens. The text may or may not be available to answer, there might be different types of feedback messages, the students might have one or more attempts to answer the questions, etc. These changes affect the context of the task, and our study aims to see how different task contexts affect students' learning. This tool is a web application which presents each type of information in a different page and takes records of all actions and times performed by the student, creating a file data, like this one, with a detailed sequence for each student and session. Here we can see at what time the student started reading the text, reading the question, and the answer submitting for an open-ended question. On the next question, when he selects an option and when he decides to validate it. Then we see at what time the feedback message opens and when the student decides to close. Also, it registers information related to the context. It shows the question number, the time each action takes place, if the answer is correct. We also uh, we have also designed a computer tool that allows us to transform the sequence into a standardized file, which summarizes and aggregates the information from all students. This standardized file can be exported to a statistical package, uh, such as a PSF, for further analysis. This data allows us to analyze the different aspects that manipulated can influence learning while students work on the e-textbook. Here we can see in seconds the total time spent on the experiment, the total time spent reading the text for the first time, the total time going back to the text for searching for information, and the number of times the students went back to the text. We have done two studies to determine how the context of the task affects the process of question resolution, and especially the learning, through a measure of delayed recourse. We will briefly explain the design of one of these experiments and its main findings to date in our talk. Thank you for your attention.